Previously, I used BME 280 sensor with Arduino, ESP8266 and ESP32 to measure atmospheric pressure, temperature and altitude. Today, I got a similar sensor from MEAS Switzerland called MS5611. This sensor has the same functionality and features as BME280. Thus, MS5611 is basically called a barometer plus altimeter. Combinedly, this sensor measures atmospheric pressure and relative or absolute altitude. It also has an inbuilt temperature sensor for calibrations. Therefore, we can use this sensor to measure temperature as well. In this guide, we will go through the sensor details, specifications, features, P0 and SPI or I2C communication protocol. Then, we will interface this sensor with the Arduino board and view the temperature, pressure and altitude results on the serial monitor. Later, we will use the sensor with OLED display to make a portable barometer, thermometer and altimeter. In the final part, we can compare the reading of the MS5611 sensor with the reading of the BME280 sensor. So, there is a lot to learn and a lot to discuss in this guide. So, without getting any delayed, let's get started. Do you want professional PCBs like this one that looks so good then use the services of next PCB. You can select the board size, any solder mask color that you want including something like red and green. You can select the thickness and the PCB could be from 2 up to 32 layers for some more complex design. The finish quality is so good and if you want better connectivity, you could also select some gold finish for the pads. The ordering process is so easy. Just go to nextpcb.com then quit now. Insert your design setting, upload your cover files and order now. And receive the PCB in a couple of days. Let's have an overview of this sensor first. The MS5611 is a high resolution altimeter barometer sensor from MEAS Switzerland. The sensor works with both SPI and I2C bus interface. The sensor also has an on-chip temperature sensor used to compensate for the changes in the environment and to calibrate the measurements. The pressure range it can measure is between 10 M bar to 1200 M bar with absolute accuracy of plus minus 1.5 M bar. The sensor is optimized for altimeters and variometers with an altitude resolution of 10 cm. The temperature range that it can measure is between minus 40 degrees Celsius to plus 85 degrees Celsius with an accuracy of plus minus 0.8 degree Celsius. The module comes with a MIC5205 3.3 volt precise voltage regulator and voltage level translator. Therefore, we can use it with a 3.3 volt or 5 volt microcontroller. It has a very low current consumption of 0.14 microampere in standby mode. The MS5611 communicates via either I2C or SPI bus. A pin called PS is available on the sensor board. If the PS pin is pulled too low, then the SP interface is enabled. Pulling PS to high selects the I2C interface. By default, the I2C interface is available. The MS5611 module has total of 7 pins, which includes power pins, SPI pins, I2C pins and selection pins. To enable and use the SPI interface, we need to connect PS, that is protocol select pin to the ground. The MS5611 has multiple I2C addresses of 0 x 77 and 0 x 76. The default I2C address is 0 x 77. If we connect the CSP pin to VCC, the I2C address becomes 0 x 76. Now, let us see how we can interface the MS5611 parametric pressure sensor with Arduino board. The connection between Arduino Nano board and MS5611 in I2C mode is fairly simple. 
All we need to do is to connect the I square C pins together as shown in this image. I used a breadboard for testing and assembly. Let's move to the code part. We need an MS5611 library first. There is a dedicated library available on GitHub. You can download this library and add this to the Arduino library folder via the library manager. This is the example taken from the library. All you need is to copy this code and upload it to the Arduino Nanoboard. Once the code gets uploaded, open the serial monitor. The serial monitor immediately displayed temperature, atmospheric pressure, relative altitude, and absolute altitude. The altitude variation can only be observed once it is taken at some distance. Maybe you can use it on drones and navigational devices. To make this device portable, you can use a 0.96 inches I2C OLED display. Connect both the OLED display and MS5611 to Arduino via I2C pins. So the hardware is ready. And it's time to program it again. In this code, we will add an SST1306 OLED library and modify the code to display MS5611 parameters on it. After uploading the code, the portable altimeter barometer is ready. You can power it via a power bank and take it outside for testing applications. In this final part, we will compare the reading of MS5611 with the BME280 sensor. For this, make a hardware connection at one here. And regarding the code part, I have combined both the BME280 and MS5611 libraries. Upload the code to the board. Open the serial monitor. So here you can see the difference in the reading of both sensors. The difference is not so much, but it is difficult to predict which one is the accurate one. Alright, that is all from the video part today. The complete project details including device information, purchase link, source code and written guide can be followed in the How to Electronics website article. In case you have any other questions, you can comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.